Hi there, I'm Adam Winfield of Lincolnshire Photo Training. This is day two of our 12 days of Christmas. Okay, this is a really simple one. We ought to call this a stocking filler. Um, and what we're gonna talk about today is what you should have on your Christmas list is batteries, camera batteries. Okay, you're gonna all sit there and say, wow, that's really simple, I've got loads of those. I bet you haven't. Um, I can guarantee that on all my photo walks, at least one person is there um, and tells me either my camera battery is just about to go or they're looking at the, the little blocks on their camera, seeing their ba camera battery go to down to zero and thinking, oh my goodness, I'm not gonna get to photograph what I need to. So guys, you need to have at least one, if not two spare batteries for your camera. Okay, really, really simple. But if you have two spare batteries, you know you've always got one fully charged. There might be one at home charging and you've got one in your camera, okay? But it's got to have a spare battery. Okay, so what can I tell you about batteries? Okay, so the little thing here is that camera batteries can be really expensive. If you've got a Canon or a Nikon SLR or even a compact camera, Panasonic or some other make, it doesn't matter what make um, your camera. But if you look on Amazon and you look for the manufacturer's own batteries, they're probably quite expensive and you probably look and go, wow, do I need to do that? No, you don't. I don't use um, camera manufacturers own brand of batteries um, I use ones that I look at on Amazon and I see what um, the reviews are if we've got several hundred reviews and generally they're good reviews I'll go and buy those they're probably only 15 20 pound to buy and sometimes you can buy them in packs of two as well um, and generally they've been very good I have bought some really bad camera batteries I bought some household brand name batteries that have been really really bad okay so have a look at the reviews on amazon see what you think and go with a good review okay a little tip for you is if you have two or three batteries put a number on them number them flag them up so you can see which batteries you're using you can then keep track of them some batteries will lose the life quicker than others and you can start to realize which is my bad battery and manage it accordingly you don't have to throw it away straight away but manage it accordingly so if battery number four doesn't perform quite as well as battery number three, then you know that. You can use battery number four, but you've got non battery number three ready to, uh, to back up with. Another little trick with batteries that nobody knows is often you'll get these little covers, little plastic covers that clip onto the battery um, to protect the, the contacts. If you look at these covers, can you see it's got a little, a little cutout, a little battery cutout on it at the top? Just there, okay? That's a great indicator. If that goes in your camera bag, you can have a system whereby if you put it on your battery one way round, you can maybe see here, I don't know how the lighting is in here, you can see the battery cutout is going to grey. Now what I've done on my batteries is I've coloured, I've coloured in my batteries red at the top. So if I put this cover on and I can see through that little battery cutout, I can see red, can you see that there? I can see red. I know that that battery is, is being used, it's, it's discharged. Okay, so that goes in my camera bag. I can see immediately that it's red. When I get home, I put that straight on charge. Put it back in my camera bag and I put it on that way round. It's not red, it's grey, so I know that that battery's ready to go. So, today's Christmas, uh, countdown to Christmas, 12 days to Christmas, um, day number two is camera batteries. Bit of a camera filler, uh, a, a camera filler? A uh, stocking filler, you can ask people to, to buy you some, some camera batteries. Have them ready then, then you never have to worry about your camera discharging, missing that shot again. It's the most frustrating thing you can do is you're getting ready, you're taking a really nice photograph and suddenly your camera goes dead and you go, ah, that's it, I can't shoot anymore. Okay, don't be in that position. I've been in that position far too many times. Have plenty of camera batteries. Have at least one spare, if not two spare camera batteries. Number them up and manage them carefully so you know which batteries at a time are discharging, which ones are ready to go again. Always have one spare in your camera bag. Okay, that's day number two. I'll see you soon for day number three. Thank you.